How's it going, everybody? <clears throat> um, this video is for Eugene S. And Eugene S. said that um, the numbers that I'm sharing only make sense if you... Let's take a look at his comment here. So Eugene, in this video here, printing non-stop transfers on an Epson commercial DTF printer. And uh, Eugene says, your profit numbers only make sense if you have a free printer, free labor, free materials, ink, free warehouse, free shipping, and don't pay taxes. I cannot tell you how stupid of a fucking comment that is. You know? <laughs> you know, some people are just born and they're not born smart um, so obviously everybody knows that you have to have a warehouse you have to have your rent you have to have your supplies you have to have your ink your film your powder right you have to buy your printer but you're not buying your printer um, beyond the time that you make money or, or beyond the time that that you made more than you burned with it or more than you paid for it so Let's take a look at it. Right now, this is printing transfers and we're printing nonstop. Every seven minutes, we're kicking out two transfers and these are charged at $9 per transfer, two for 18, because the Oddly printers cannot print the detail that this printer has. The Oddly printers cannot print font this small. They struggle with it because of the print head. So let's take and turn around. See if I can just put this there so we can take and view in on this. Try and get this in a good place here. So when we take a look at, uh, where the hell is the tape measure? When we take a look at the size of this, I thought I had the damn tape measure. Come right back. Tape measure. Fell out of the world. Stickers are done. Each one of these are for orders that are going out. The guillotine. All right. <clears throat> going to walk over here and then I'll find my tape measure. Um, if you have a big vector artwork or, you know, artwork that, uh, hold on, we're going to lock this down real quick. So if you have artwork that's vector artwork, you know, circular artwork, something like this right here, um, something like that right there then the Asian printers are going to work just fine. That's so cool. Um, I don't know where our tape measure is, but if I were to think where our tape measure was, I would be able to solve my problem. I can't believe that this is going to be more than one inch. One inch that way, half of an inch there. And, uh, you know, just because I have OCD, I'm just going to keep looking around until I find it. I was using it to hold something up earlier. Here we go. <clears throat> so let's take a look at the size of this right here. three-fourths of an inch and the words the tiny little words here 
are about an eighth of an inch, if even that. These are for tiny little neck shots, and maybe if I hold it up for the light, we can see it even better. There's no way that the Asian printers can do that. They just can't, you know, and there's a video that you can watch. Um, and I think it's over at Custom Designs or something like that where they're running two Oddleys and they can't print it. So this customer had an owner with an Oddly printer print a transfer form and it couldn't handle the fine detail of the prints um, of the spray. Just couldn't do it. So if you look in here, you can see that right in there, there's tiny little spray, not this blue stuff. Let's hold it up to the air. All that tiny little white stuff right there. The Asian printers couldn't do um, because they're printing at a lower resolution, dropping down more ink than you know the transfer is required for. So every seven minutes, one of these are done. Two transfers come out, $9 a piece. It's $18, uh, $18 times eight, right? Do that math, $18 times eight because there's seven or eight sevens in a minute, right? Or in an hour. So nine times two, you got your 18, now watch this. Times 8.57, $154. We've been printing today, not only these transfers, but other transfers nonstop, round the clock. We haven't stopped. The only time that I stopped production, I should say, is when I went to lunch for an hour with Kevin from Cadlink and came back and we started again. So I've been here since eight o'clock and we're now at what, nine o'clock. So we've been here 11 hours. So we're gonna take 154 times 10. It's $1,542 in a day, okay? These printers, the more that they run, the better that they do. And if you take that $1,542, multiply that times 4.5, that's $7,000 per week times four, $27,000 in a month, okay? Some, some months have five, five weeks. So when you calculate that in, let's talk about how much film that is. You know, it's gonna take one entire day printing nonstop to burn through a roll of film. Um, I've calculated this. So that being said, a roll of film on average from all the suppliers is about $250 plus shipping, okay? So let's divide this back. We're gonna go back, divided by four, um, divided by 4.5, give us back to our original $1,542, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and reduce today's cost of film, 250. We're gonna go reduce today's cost of ink. We'll just take the entire bottles of ink out because I use Kodak it's a little bit more expensive but I'm a dealer so I bought a lot but if you're retail you're, you're looking at like $59 for your CMYK and $99 for your white right so six times four minus 240 minus 200 okay and now you've got to factor in your powder your powder that you're buying is $25 you go minus $25 it's $827 after everything's paid. Now you can print your transfers for the rest of the week and barely burn through your ink. We're gonna look at how much ink I've burned through uh, since I filled up these cartridges. We're live on uh, YouTube. You can go back to a couple of days ago and I've been printing now since what, a whole week and I've barely gone through um, well, I haven't even needed to go through. I mean, I may, I may have gone through, uh, these are 330, 350 milliliter cartridges. So I assume um, 100 liters, or sorry, 100 milliliters I've used in a week. 
all right? Now, electricity, rent, okay? So we're at $827, so tomorrow we can get back to our $1,500, okay? We took this problem out of the equation. Day number one, $827. Now day number two is pure profit, pure profit, pure profit, pure profit, right? So we factor that by the third day, right, you paid your rent, you paid your electric bill, and you broke even. Third to fourth day, you broke even, right? Now, let's come back and do this again. You guys don't forget 827.60, okay? So we're at 15.47. Um, we're gonna do this week, and we're only gonna multiply that times three because that's the end of the week, right? The first three days we lost, now we got three days in. We've made $4,641 after we paid our rent, paid our supplies, paid our staff, and paid our labor, okay? So then you just take that 4641 and a week is gone. Now we've got that 1547 times 20 days, $30,940. What the fuck are you talking about, dude? You're saying that you can't pay your taxes with what's left? You can't pay your overhead? Man, look, every day that that comes in, you just take that once, you know, two times a week. Let's reduce it down. Let's go 1547 times 15 days and just say we've lost a shitload of money paying bills. You're still at $23,205 for the month. I do that just printing all day long. You can do that just printing all day long, right? Because at the end of the at the end of the day, you repeat your day the following day, right? It's that simple, man. That simple. You can go ahead. Yeah. Um, it's that simple. So I, I don't know what really you're talking about. Now, if you have a printer that prints faster, like one of the Asian printers, then you're printing a whole roll of film in about six hours, maybe eight hours. Um, you have to generate the business, right? So... You know, to, to me, in my mind, I, I calculate my earnings by the potential of earning. And then I've got to go hustle and get that business. I've got to go and find companies that want me to print for them. They're everywhere, right? They're everywhere. They knock on our doors. They come here to pick up transfers. Churches calls us. Schools call us. Church calls us. Hey, man. Can you print me something right here? One sample right there that turned into a 40 sheet order. 40 sheet order, okay? At an A, A4 uh, price, my A4 price is $9, I think, if you go look on the website. And um, so you're talking, you know, 40 sheets times eight, 320 bucks, 300, because it's rush order, I charge them 350. So, you know, that being said, you just have to start to calculate, you know, how busy do you want to get? How, how many printers do you want to own, right? And the fact is there's not that many left in the country. Um, you're printing it at about three times the speed of the Epson desktop printers, unless you have like a 4900 or something like that, which, you know, few people have and they can keep running. There's very few people that can keep a 4,900 running, you know, and they just blow them up, fucking print heads. They don't know how to replace them. They don't know what the hell they're doing. They're just, you know, they're, they're people that find a printer and fill it up with ink and print, print, print till it breaks down. Oh shit, let me flush the head. You know, let me make the stupid error of putting a wet print head that has, when you flush your print head, you're not supposed to put that print head back into the printer. You need to let it dry out for 24 to 48 hours. And some of these people flush the print head, throw it right back into the printer, and bam, blow a fuse. You know, so um, <clears throat> you have to certainly be aware of what you're printing and what you're doing. So let me just send another print off. Um, you know, the, the idea is 
you know, once you understand what the printers can make, that they have the potential, if you are charging correctly, uh, if you are charging correctly, the printers have the capacity to make uh, 1500 bucks a day, right? Easily. Some of the, you know, Asian printers, they can reload that film and they're at $3,000, $4,000 a day, $5,000 a day. But you're running 220 volts by 30 amps times two dedicated lines. And uh, that's fine. But these are just primarily for the people that have a screen printing shop, you know, that just want to print their transfers and not send that business out the house. Easy enough order, huh? Cadillac, right? You're like, I don't want to go do moving stuff anymore. Get to sit down and yeah, you totally did. Just get to sit down, you know, blow a joint. Dude, seriously, man. <laughs> yeah. I you, might have to get one of Yeah, right. right. So yeah, you're finally comprehending it now, right? <laughs> yeah, so, so it's not hard. The profit's there. You know, and then you take out at the end of the day, let's take, take a look at it. 23,205 dollars. Um, what are taxes now for? We're a corporation, we pay entirely different, but if you're not a corporation, let's just say you're gonna take away, you know, 27%. And that means you're still making 16,900 $39 for the month? You paid for your printer in month number one? You broke completely even with everything out the door, month number one. What does month number two bring you? Month number three bring you? You know, now you're learning how to charge correctly, maximize your profits, times 12, $203,275. I challenge you to argue with me how a $15,000 investment that you could make, what other $15,000 investment can you make that generates you $200,000 a year? I don't know, man. I, I, I don't know. Now that only doubles if you had another printer, another printer, and you're printing the transfers, you're picking up the business that the big Asian printers can't produce and that's okay right so if i had something like 500 transfers that i had to print and uh, they were vector art i'd be like hey dennis i got a bunch of transfers i need printed print them for me i got you ernest and if i'm printing these transfers here you know then people know that my prices are going to be priced accordingly um because i'm not here to work for free and neither are you so Eugene, I hope I answered your question. And even if we were doing, you know, $5 transfers times two, that's 10 bucks, right? Every seven minutes times 8.5. Now I'm lowballing this, right? Now I'm in at $85 an hour times five hours a day, 425 times 25 days out of the month. That's 10,600. $25 and then you start taking away your fees, right? You're starting to look at, okay, so I got my E, let's go three, six, let's minus $900 for three refills, and that's a lot of E. Minus 285 for a roll of film, minus 285 for a roll of film, minus $50 for the powder, minus $50 for the powder, and then you take things like your payroll. Now you're at $9,000. Um, profit per month. Now we're going to go minus 27% because you got to pay Uncle Ju Sam times 12, $79,321. After everything is paid, you've lowballed the transfers, you, you, you just cornholed your own ass and gave away your money telling people, oh man, I'm one of these big badass guys. I'll charge you $3 a transfer. I'm gonna work for free, you know, and, and what do you do then? 
you're like all these dumbasses out there with small desktop printers and they're taking you know 12 minutes to print a damn transfer and they're charging three dollars they're working for free right blows me away man so in that case um you're still making 80 grand a year are you fucking kidding me dude after you just paid uncle juice sam now you've got 80 grand a year how many hours did your employees work um, so we're at 79,000, right? So you've got an employee working 15 bucks an hour times, you know, 25 hours a week, 375 times four. That person's making $1,500 a month times 12. That's $18,000 a year. And um, let's go ahead and minus the $79,000 we just earned. $61,000. After your taxes were paid, after you paid your employees, you paid all your costs, you're still making $61,000 a year off of a $15,000 printer. I mean, think about it, people. Most people in business, they tell you, don't expect to receive a return <coughs> on your investment or your equipment for 15 months. And I've had people get these printers and in 30 days, they've made 40 grand dude they've got their own following you know they're not charging five dollars a transfer they're dead set on ten dollars a transfer and uh you can do the same so man I, I don't i don't i don't understand why you why most people think if you even at sixty one thousand dollars right minus a two thousand dollar a month rent $24,000, you're still fucking clocking in 50 grand. I, I mean, really, people? Really, if you're charging what you should be, you're charging $18 for this sheet right here, right? 18 bucks for that sheet right there. Come on, guys. Eight, there's 18 times 50 sheets. So what is that? 18 times 50, $900 just off those alone, 900 bucks in a day. Come on, man. There's so much business out there. If you get up off your goddamn couch and you go knock on a door and you say, hey, screen printer, how you doing, man? My name's Ernie. I print transfers. Here's my card. And uh, if you need any transfers, give me a call. I can print your transfers for you, right? You don't have to go to stalls. I'm local right in the area, and we've got you covered. Um, hold on a second. What's up, Baron? Yo, so you rocking for the rest of the oh, I can't tell you all that, my friend. Why you want to know if I'm rocking fluorescent? How do you know that? Oh, gotcha, man. Yeah, yeah, we're trying to. So we got Cadlink out at the shop um, this week and next week to finally get all this set up without us having to send a printer into Canada, Ottawa. Yeah, everything is coming out of Canada. Yeah, so, you know, we're, try we're trying to do what we can, man, to, uh, you know, push this industry forward so that the average person can get correct color profiling on um, Kodak Eats. Well, that's a no, no, because you have a 3880, so that printer would have to be an 8 channel. Yeah. Well, no, it's not only just an 8 channel, but <coughs> <coughs> the individual channels for each printer and the print header are line different. You'll have to send that printer to Cabinet in Ottawa and let them profile it. But I, I, we'll find out Tuesday, man. I'll ask that question just for you. Send me a message. I don't want to work on that 1800 again. You bring that printer back to me, dude, I'm going to smash it with a damn baseball bat. I done fixed it one time. <laughs> your, your, your tech guy is dead, man. This is what I need. No bullshit. Yeah. 
I have not been able to find this fucking dog jumped up on the table. And I lost the fucking print I was, and I was, trying, I was cleaning the print head. Yeah. And the fucking screws were on the table. I could. Yeah, so that's a problem with those L1800s is that they are not United States Epson printers. So you would have to contact somebody in China, perhaps a company called Yagzunda, and say, can you guys send me three print head screws for that printer? Because the print head screws have to be the exact size <clears throat> or else they can damage the print head. All right. All right. I was just checking with you, man. I see you working, man. Keep going, man. It looks good. And I wish I could fall asleep like you. Shit, I work hard today, man. I'm a supervisor. I got a lot of fucking paper. Supervisor? Ass. You ever seen that, uh, you, you're the guy which way is up with Richard Pryor where he went and got the supervisor p position. You ever see that movie? Yeah. It's a great movie, man. All right, dude, I'll, I'll get I'll get right back to you, man. I'm trying to stay on top. All right, see ya. You're good. <clears throat> so, you know, keeping your, your profit in front of you and keeping yourself directed to where you're refusing to charge less than what you deserve. Right, you print quality transfers. And, and you know, sometimes, man, people send you graphics that suck, and you just have to print them anyways. You're like, hey, dude, that's what you wanted, that's what you got, and you know, you're in a jam, you send me shit graphics, I gotta print it, and um, you know, I gotta move forward. So, anyways, guys, it's almost 10 o'clock, isn't it? What time is it? What time is it? It's almost 10 o'clock, man. I gotta start shutting this mother down. Got the family at home. The baby's wondering where I am. But Eugene, I hope I answered your question. If it wasn't to your liking, post another comment. And you make a video explaining profit loss. And um, you know, one thing I can tell you is you're not gonna be making any profit if you ain't resetting the chips, right? So. On that note, man, take it easy. Happy printing, everybody.